Good morning. We're so glad you're here at Westgate. If you are a guest with us today, please make sure to stop by the welcome desk in the lobby to pick up a special welcome gift. We join together this morning to sing praises to God, to gather strength and deepen our faith in God by spending time in His Word, to offer our praise and petitions through prayer, and to commune with one another as we remember and celebrate the blood and body Jesus Christ sacrificed for us. What a blessing it is to be here. We're so glad you've joined us. The pantry ministry needs canned meat, canned fruit, and soup in containers with easy open tops, since many of the people we serve through this ministry do not have can openers. They also are asking for snack foods such as breakfast bars and cheese or peanut butter crackers. Please place your donated items in the designated box in the tiled foyer. This year's summer series is entitled The Deadlies and focuses on the seven deadly sins of our time. This Wednesday's speaker will be Jared Kelly, and he will be speaking on envy and contentment. The Nicaragua Mission Team will be using the Signal app to post updates, photos, and notes for this year's trip. If you would like to be included in the updates, scan the QR code on the Nicaragua graphic on the cover of the bulletin to download the app, and then scan the other QR code in the image for the Westgate group messages. See Andy Nelson with questions or for more details. To stay informed about events at Westgate, be sure to sign up for our weekly Westgate On The Go email. You can go to the bottom of our website or scan the QR code at the bottom left corner of the bulletin and scroll to the bottom of the page. Samuel Wilson was a meat packer from New York. He eventually was appointed as the meat inspector for the U.S. Army, and during the War of 1812, almost all his beef and pork were sent to the troops. The service he provided raised morale and helped ensure the soldiers were kept nourished. Wilson became such a fixture among the camps that they gave him a moniker that has become synonymous with American patriotism and the personification of the U.S. government, the nickname Uncle Sam. Galatians 5.13 says, You were called to be free, brothers and sisters. Only don't use this freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but serve one another through love. The services we provide to others may not lead to us becoming a national symbol, but they assuredly do not go unnoticed by our God. No status, no accolades, and no recognition on earth will compare to standing before our Savior one day and hearing the words, Well done, good and faithful servant. Focus on the God you're worshiping this morning and let it inspire you and prepare your hearts for service this week.